It's me, Ashley, a girl and her flowers. Welcome back to my channel. I know I said I wasn't going to do a video until 2019, but I actually miss talking to you guys so much that I'm just coming to you guys today with just a little quick video. I maybe the last video of the year. Who knows? I don't. We'll see. Um, I hope everyone had a great holiday. I had an amazing holiday. Um, better than expected. I want to show you guys a couple of the things I got. Um, just a few of my favorite things and then just talk to you guys about just speaking all the positivity into your next year and why I don't do New Year's resolutions. So um, first I got so I got stuff from my Ash's father's family who welcomed my family into theirs for the holiday. And it was a great experience. It was so sweet. I'm so happy that I went and I didn't let my anxieties keep me home because I was nervous. I did spend Thanksgiving with them, but this was a bigger deal because we went to multiple homes and it was very interesting because you guys know how I got pregnant with Ashton. So it was definitely not an expected situation. So it, it turned out to be really fun. So they got me... This Bath and Body Works um like little set. It's called White Cos. It smells so good. Like it smells so good. It just smells so good. I'm just gonna spray some now because you know, oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. It just smells good. Um, then also they got me. Oh well, his cousin made me this bracelet. And the beads. She explained to me, so like the blue ones are uh, symbolic of me finding my voice and being able to speak and put myself out there, which is perfect. And then the red one is representative of stability, which is something that I definitely need in my life right now. Financial stability, all types of stability. And then I got this little thing of red crystals, red agate, um, which represent... Um, I can't remember right now off the top of my head, but it's like all good things. Stability and um, positive energy and being able to put myself out there like the blue. And it's just awesome. I got money and um, what else did I get? I got a few things. The kids were beyond blessed. They got so much. I mean, Lord, they don't need clothes until 2020. It's ridiculous. And shoes and that's what I was happiest about was clothes and shoes. That's my thing for my kids and for myself. So I'm about to go on a date today. We're going to the zoo. I'm uber excited because anybody knows me knows I love to go to the zoo and I love the aquarium and I love doing things like that. So I'm excited to do that. I'm going out on a date, my second date with my person I went out on a date with not too long ago that I told you guys about. And so I'm really excited to go. But the main point of this video was just to tell you guys why I don't do resolutions. So I feel like at the, at the beginning of the year, everyone has, everyone wants to have a resolution on this is what I'm going to do this year, but I feel like waiting is unnecessary. So what I do instead is I speak positive energy into my new year. So the week before, the week of, and all through the year, but definitely in the beginning, I like to say what's going to happen to me this year. I am going to be successful on YouTube this next year. I am going to grow my following next year. I'm going to grow my um, confidence level. I'm going to be able to speak more openly to you guys. I'm going to be able to be more consistent. I'm going to work on becoming better at editing. I'm going to do such amazing things. 2019 is going to bring me nothing but positivity. It's going to bring me money. It's going to bring me joy and it's going to bring happiness and peace to my house and my life and my home and it's going to do the same for you so i'm here to suggest to you that instead of taking the time to write out a resolution to say this year i want to do this i want to lose weight i want to do this i you know say i'm going to do these things don't put that possibility of it not happening into your resolution make it a thing let your mind know that it's going to happen i've told you guys before that i'm a true believer in positive affirmations not just because i read the secret but also because my doctors have told me my psychiatrist has told me that when you put the little bit of doubt then you're always you're kind of in a way giving yourself an out doubt gives you an out so don't give yourself an out 
Say these things are going to happen and say them every day. Every day you get up and say, today is going to be a productive, successful day. Every day. Don't hold back a day. Even when you feel down, even when my anxiety is kicking my butt, I get up and I say, today is going to be a successful, productive day. Today I'm going to do this. And so that's what I do for 2000, for my year. Instead of doing a resolution, I say, 2019 is going to bring me money. 2019 is going to bring me success. 2019, a girl and her flowers will be a household name and everyone will know me and I'm going to grow and be able to stay home with my kids and do everything and, and do something that I enjoy and still be able to spend time with my children because you guys, I have worked practically all of my children's life. This is the longest that I have been out of work. Longer than I haven't even been out of work this long for um, maternity leaves. I go back to work. Like Kayla was born in June, I was back to work in August. Ash was born in September, I was back to work in November. I am always chasing the dollar. And though this, I feel like I that during that I missed out on time with my children. So being home with this, this you know, few months, I have fallen in love with being home with my babies. And so I am going to speak into existence that I'm going to continue to be successful, and this will be my career, and I will be able to stay home with my children and still be able to provide for them financially. It's going to happen. So my tip to you, instead of doing a resolution, is speak all the things that you want into existence, and you don't have to wait until the first. You can actually do that right now. Don't wait. Just because it's 2019 doesn't make a difference if you say it in 2018 or if you say it in 2019. Who needs a resolution when you live every single day to the fullest potential and you do everything you can to make sure that every day is successful and so that's what I'm doing I am so excited for what next year has for me and the year after that and the year after that and I'm excited for what it has for you I feel like people are talking to me more especially a lot about mental health I'm loving the conversations that I'm getting from my channel I'm just loving all of it I'm going to do more fun things I'm going to do giveaways I'm going to do more you know a day in the life of me and how things work for me on a regular basis I'm going to actually get rid of these decorations I did not wait. When I came home last night, tree went down. Call me Scrooge or whatever you want, but I needed my living room back, okay? And I didn't even get to show it to you guys, but I needed it back. And I really did enjoy my holiday. I actually look forward to spending more time with Ashton's family, his father and their family. They were so sweet. And the best gift I got was, as, as I think I've told you guys, I'm going to Europe for my birthday next year for a week by myself. Um, which is crazy, I know, but I'm going to do it. And I was going to be leaving Ashton with his father and dropping Caden off in Maryland with my mom and my family. But they told me, don't you do that. Leave Caden with us. So, hey, I'm all for it. He can stay. Works out for me. So, I'm just so thrilled. I am just, I can't. I can't even really express how excited I am for 2019 because I know that it's going to be the year for me, okay? Every year is going to be the year for me, but next year, I just know. I can feel it in my spirit. There's going to be so much growth, I'm not going to know what to do with myself, and I love it. I love already knowing it's going to happen. It's not a possibility. There's no doubt in my mind. I know that only good things are coming to me 2019. And the same for you. Make sure you speak into an existence. Get excited for what's to come because it's coming. The only person that's going to stand in your way is you. So don't do it. Don't stand in your way. And just thank you guys so much for the support. And please, please, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time.